Look, deep down, we all wanted to be Clive Davis. The greatest record man of all time. The one, the only, Mr. Clive Davis. I'm a workaholic. I'm 24-7. I work from, OK, 10 in the morning until late at night, you know, professionally in, in various aspects of music that I love. Janis Joplin. Paul Simon. Miles Davis. Bruce Springsteen. Aretha. The Grateful Dead. Carlos Santana. Tony Braxton. TLC. Usher. Lou Reed. Billy Joel. Maroon 5. Whitney Houston. Alicia Keys. The first thing that I was um, so touched by was seeing the artists that I had been involved with, beginning with the earliest part of my career, you know, going back to Simon and Garfunkel and Springsteen and the footage of me with Janis Joplin, to hear their memory, going back to the earliest 45, 46 years ago, was very moving. What do you look for in an artist? Well, you, you either got it or you don't have it. She's got she it. She got it. Wait till you hear her. Here's Whitney Houston. There are just a few artists that define his career, but invariably people talk about Whitney. I'm so proud of this film because it does capture the letters I wrote or the meetings I had with her, the arguments that I used uh, to try to convince her that nobody prevails in this lethal battle involving drugs. And uh, so the movie is touching, it's honest, it's real and gripping and capturing the fact that yes, you know, when it stared me in the face without question, I, I dealt with it and thought, thought that we had beat this problem for her and obviously we didn't. He's made the soundtrack for our lives. 